Hi, today I want to show you how I drew the MIP with Fusion 360 with a simple method but very effective. Let's move to the PC. Okay, this is a quickly panoramic how the MIP will be after I drew. So now I'll show you step by step how I did it. First of all, I went uh, to the sim and taking a frontal MAP screenshot that way. I opened the screenshot with GIMP, cut the image and uh, correct the distortion a little bit. After that, I needed to work on this part, so I select it and cut it that way. Now I'm ready to export the image like PNG. Now with the Fusions Functions Insert Canvas, I import the image before worked. Fusion asked me to select a face when I want to import the picture. So I click on this face and I try to put it in central position that way. Now I have to divide the MIP into three equal parts to start working. After that I'll show you why. I select the picture, click on Edit Canvas and try to center these lines I drew before with these MAP's pictures lined that way. I create a new sketch on this face and I'm drawing all MMP's contours instrumentation like annunciators, panels, holes, everything that way. As you can see I'm starting to the left side. After using a mirror function for the right part, but see how to do it later. I create the first images rectangle that way. I make extractions midline and then use it to mirror this rectangle. So select all sides, select this symmetry axis and click OK. And the rectangle is done. At the end I have to apply a little radius on both rectangles. Ok, both frames are complete now. I do the outside contours frames. I try to do that recalling all more accurately as possible. Also here I apply a radius. I'm doing this again in the same way. I said again, the most important things to do is recalling all more accurately as possible. So now I'll go a little faster, you should understand the procedure.
Okay, after a couple minutes, this is the result. I have almost finished it. Next step, I build the LCD 3D profile I have bogged and put it on the MAP structure. The monitors I bogged are these. So, two of these 18.5 inch for right and left side. I used an old monitor 15 inch, the format is 4x3, into the central position of MAP. The producer is Dell. But I searched for you a monitor you can buy and could be a monitor with a correct size for using with my project size of MAP. And then I found this monitor uh, 15 inch. Here the producer gave me the size of this monitor, but you have to consider this size is of uh, all monitors with his plastic case. It would be best if you only had the LCD. So I give you in the description the size of the LCD I use in this project. Maybe if these monitors will not be able more, you can search the other monitors of this size to utilize my MIP project. After that I disassembled the outer part to take only the LCD because the entire monitors doesn't fit in the MAP structure. Pay attention please, I recommend you don't do that for two crucial reasons. The first, you lose the warranty immediately. Second, if you are not an expert in doing this job, you should do irreversible damage to the LCD. If you want to do that, I don't assume any responsibility about you will do. I know the risk, I have some experience and I'm sure about what I'm doing. Ok, after I told you that, I measure the LCD and create a 3D shape in Fusion 360. Now I import this model in the MAP's project to check it fit nicely inside the MAP. Also check the black screen is inside both these frames. It is most important the LCD steel contour doesn't appear in these frames. And now as you can see the LCD fit nicely in position. Now I have to create an offset of the first frame to build the LCD frame. Ok, now it's the moment I'm waiting for. I do the mirror about all left parts. In the 737 MAP, the left and right sides are almost the same. Change only a little bit one panel that I show you soon. So I select mirror function, select all the left parts, select the symmetric axis, it is in MAP's center. Now he show me a preview and clicks OK. I told you before, this is the panel I have changed in the MAP right part. Now I'm ready to start the first extrusion to create the physical panels and cut the MAP when I have to remove the material to have a backlight panel, for example. So I select this profile and it is the first negative extrusion on the MAP structure for the backlight panel. And for put in position the annunciator switch, rotary switch, encoder, etc. After cutting it I select this surface and I'm doing the first panel extrusion to create it. I'm doing that way. I extrude the bottom panel also. Now I'm going to show to make another one. Now I have to make an, a negative extrusion 
on this panel. So I select this surface and after that I set a negative value and click OK. Now I cut the LCD frame that way. Select all annunciators, cloud frame and the other parts. After that I have to do a negative extrusion to cut it. Now I turn on the 3D LCD model and put it behind the MAP structure. So I select all bodies, click M on my keyboard and pull this arrow back to put it in a correct position that way. Now I have to mirror this LCD to the right side. I use a mirrors function. Let's watch how to do it together. Click on the LCD body, go to create, click on mirror. At this time I have to select a mid plane I made before exactly on the MAP center. Then I select it and click OK. And the other LCD appear here. And now I can check if both LCD are in the correct position. At this point I want to create this MAP LCD frame, which I will make with my 3D printer. So click the external and internal profiles and I'm doing a 2mm extrusion. Now I continue with all extrusion in a central part of MAP. As you can see now the procedure is the same, so I jump it a little. Now I create the holder frame with the same method. So now I want to show how to create this particular panel more clearly. So I click this profile and set 2mm extrusion. Select a new component and click OK. It's made the base. After doing that I have to select this profile without the holes. Also here set to 2mm, select new body and click OK. At this point I have to combine these parts, so select combine and select the two parts and click OK. It is the base panel. Now I have to create the bottom part, so first of all turn off the panel I have just made. Select this shape profile. But now I use an offset start plane. I put 2mm offset distance, that way it will create the panel after the first panel I have made before. And set 2.5mm extrusion. This value depends on the plexiglass thickness I use. So select new body and click OK. Here I'm going to extrude this cell CD frame, I don't do it yet. Now I have to make a chamfer of all frames and I do it that way. Select modify, select the age frame and set 2mm is enough. Very important things set the same whole value chamfer at the same all frames.
here I'm doing the last extrusion that I forgot. I turn on the panel and all it's done. Finally, the MAP design is complete. As you can see, the LCD fit in the structure very well. It is the frontal part and I'm very proud of the job I've done. Now I wanted to turn off all frontal panels to see the MAP structure without panels. It will be the base that uh, I will make with my CNC 3018. Okay, now turn on the glide shield to see how it is in the cockpit. Wow, he has, look, it's very good. I'm very happy, it's like in the real 737 cockpit. Okay, after a couple of hours I created the MIP. If you don't know what the MIP is, it is the main instrument panel. It is the set of principal panels in front of the cockpit. As you can see, the method is very easy. You have to do a screenshot of the MIP, use it as a background, and then with the fusions function insert canvas, Create a sketch on this picture and uh, recalling all contours, shapes, holes, etc. I love this method because you can use it to create all panel or parts you want. Also, other cockpit. Just take a screenshot of your panel and use this method. I use this method to create all cockpit panels. Surely, to simplify you as much as possible, as soon as possible, it will be able on my website. I give you a dixf of MIP so you can download it. I give you down in the description the link of the product I bought. In particular, the LCD. For me, it was the most challenging part about the building because to found the LCD with the correct size and they fit inside the frame. To do that, trust me, I had to search many monitors and I had to buy this assembly and then check the size I needed. So the next step will be to realize with my CNC machine the MIP. So surely I'll do a new video where I'll show you how to create it with a CNC 3018. Because I don't have a big CNC machine, it has a small working area, so I'll show you a method I had thought. As always, I thank you and I hope this video was helpful for you. Give me a like. If you have some questions, let me know down in the comment below. If you are not signed up yet to my channel, subscribe and activate the bell. That way you will always keep updating when I upload a new video. Thank you again and see you soon for the next video. Bye bye.